Hello, good evening, greetings. I go by the name of The Bearded Captain, leader and flag bearer and translator of all beards on digital and digital broadcasting media. I am that beard who tries to make people laugh. I am that beard who tries to make people smile with his witty banter and one mind jokes, which I promise you will be coming. Um, and attempted sarcasm of where uh, of where it is physically 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 possible uh, that's easy to say isn't it where it's physically possible sorry uh, there you go uh, a bit of a tongue uh, twister inadvertently uh, i hope you're well i hope you're looking after yourselves and i hope you're trying to keep upbeat in isolation period um challenge is the same my bearded brothers Obviously, with you lovely souls, you're unique, you can look after your beards. Um, which is going to bring me on to the topic what I want to talk about now. Is, is how are you going to deal with beard in isolation? Now, the clean shaven might just feel a bit withdrawn, a bit not bothered. And they would inadvertently, um, by coincidence, grow the beard. So we've got to keep an eye on them. Uh, as well, so they'll be in isolation, probably thinking about, obviously, wishing all's well and wishing everybody's in good health, safe, obviously, from this virus. But the clean-shaven will uh, be in form of isolation, yes, for obviously that. But they would inadvertently take this chance for another form of isolation, self-reflection as well of, hmm, what am I doing with my life, my life decisions? And then you'd like to think they'd hopefully realise what have I been doing all these years? I've been living a lie to my face. Um, I'm clean shaven when the natural way is to grow a beard. Um, let me ditch the razor. And if I really have an urge to shave, then I'll just, you know, give myself a skinhead. Um, or if I really wanted to push the boat out, I will uh, shave the legs. Um, you know, so... My beards, I want to obviously get to the point. We, my bearded brethren, my bearded brothers, are at that point where we have the beard. Obviously, the clean shaven, no facial hair, and it'll grow out. And they'll moan and they'll have a whinge about their two-day stubble and how, they are, how they're a part of us when they're not. Uh, and then on the other side, they'll say, no, 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 we're not like the beards. Uh, you know, we've... You know, we've not grown out. Uh, we're still with you. So this is why I don't like the two-day stubblers. Uh, because they argue that they can sit on both sides of the fence where they can't. Um, which we've always talked about in a previous video of what is the ideal beard length. So we've talked about it in the previous video. Um, so I won't talk about it too much now. But yeah, a two-day stubble is not the ideal length. But my brother's... They will obviously grow a beard. You guys obviously have your beards. So it'll naturally go longer, longer. Uh, and there'll be the challenge, how do you maintain your beard in isolation? A fantastic question which I have uh, set the agenda for for myself. And I think it needs to be answered. And who else to answer it than uh, your bearded captain, your leader of all beards? So, on the face of it, it seems a bit challenging, a bit daunting, you know, it's going to grow longer, how do I do this? Now, if you're a master craftsman on your own face, and you can trim, great. But what I would say is, is your beard, it's used in the completely wrong context, but I don't care, your beard is like your face temple. It is sacred to you. You look after it, you nurture it, of course, you know all this. Uh, but what you don't want to do is put your beard in entrusted hands uh, to people uh, who don't know what they're talking about. So for me, I've made this mistake um, once with myself where I, I and seriously was accidentally uh, cut a significant part of my beard off and I had to restart. <laughs> It was 10 years ago, and it was very, very traumatic. 
fake cries over, but it was so traumatic that 10, 12 degrees, so a mildish day, my face was shivering. I could not handle it. It felt, you know, it was just, oh, it was, it, it was tough. It was most certainly tough uh, on my face. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, make sure you're a master craftsman of your face. And by all means, you give it a trim, no problem. Um, obviously, you can't get a mobile barber, social distancing and what have you. And you can't really go to the barbers, social distancing, and they'll be closed. So, um, yeah, obviously, if you're like me, you obviously, well, you don't have any hair to start with. But uh, you just, the hair that you do have, you just uh, whack a uh, five-blade Gillette razor on it. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the beard, I would literally say that use... And we'll talk about this a bit more in another video. Use um, the product where necessary, beard balm, beard oil. Make sure you comb your beard and put beard shampoo on where necessary as well. Keep your beard well maintained. You should be doing this anyway. And when you're obviously not able to give your beard a trim and go to the beard salon, beard barber, it's naturally going to grow out. Then just accordingly, make sure that you probably do it two times, three times a day. But if you're like me and you love playing with your beard, it's going to make it harder for yourself. So lesson to myself, advice to myself, don't play with your beard, especially now, because it's going to be longer and it's going to be harder to tidy and harder to maintain. So that is the captain's bit of advice on how to survive in COVID-19 territory with your beard growing. Uh, hope you like, like, share, subscribe. Captain out. Peace.